How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at He-Man from the 1980s movie starring Dolph Lundgren. This is my first time ever having this particular figure in hand. I didn't have him when he came out with the uh, William Stout collection when the classics run was having its day and I've never had any other iteration. I'm not sure if there are any others either. Uh, so very excited to have this guy in hand. Quick look at the front of the packaging. We have an additional head portrait here. We've got some daggers, his blaster, and an additional pair of hands. So let's check out the rest of this box. And we've got some awesome artwork there of He-Man. The other side, Heroic Defender of Eternia. Notice that it doesn't say the most powerful man in the universe. And then back over here. If you've never seen the movie, I, I mean, I think it's a classic. It's not great, but it's a movie about a cartoon character or a toy character. And it was made in the 80s. You know, I mean, we're talking about 40 years ago almost. Uh, so it's put in that context, it's really impressive. And maybe we had our standards really high as kids, you know, but it's a fun movie. I watch it regularly and this is taken directly from it. Let this be our final battle. Very, very dope. The evil Skeletor captured Sorceress and claimed Castle Grayskull as his own. And there is only one hero on Eternia who can save her. He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. All right, they got it in there. They got it in there, so I stand corrected. Looking at some of the rest of the figures, I don't think this is one solid wave, but it might be. I don't have any of them, <laughs> but I've got He-Man, <laughs> and I think I've got Skeletor on the way. All right, let's get him out. Mandatory blister shot. We see the same thing that we saw when we were looking through the window. <laughs> Immediate impressions out of the package. This guy's a knockout. Like, man, he is an absolute knockout. I'm just going to give him a little twirl there. Check out all his outstanding armor. I like how it's kind of like a dull gold. You've got that black wash throughout. Nice paint here on the wrap around the bicep. Beautiful stuff. You've got a gauntlet on this side that is free floating. Wow, check that out. Look at that sculpting there. I have no idea if that's movie accurate, but I'm going to guess that it is. I mean, I never paid attention to this his left gauntlet in the movie. But that is some beautiful stuff. Well, well done. Great match on the paint of all the armor. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, man. The people working on this line right now are, like, inspired. You can just tell by all the care they're putting into these figures in all of the lines. So you've got one dagger here, and this has the hilt that matches the sword. And I thought that was pretty cool. The sheath for the dagger here on the side swivels. And that is like really, really cool. And this goes right in. There you go. On the other side, we have the sheath for his blaster. Quick look at that. And as I'm looking at these accessories, which I bet are like extremely movie accurate, I'm realizing that I don't know if they're movie accurate. I haven't seen the movie in a few months. Uh, so, and I've never paid attention to those details, right? So that's interesting. I mean, I did notice always that this was not the same as the sword in the movie, but it was close. Uh, but yeah, so interesting stuff. We've got some nice detail there on the medallion of the belt. This belt is glued on to the torso trouser piece. This holster here does not move about either. It's glued in. And then we have another throwing dagger here in the boot. And this one is just more traditional handle. Close look at the detail on the boots. And I'm really impressed by all this molding. It looks so nice. I do wish I had the Super 7 Ultimates version so that I could kind of like compare. And I guess I'm going to have to move that figure up higher on the list. <laughs> he looks absolutely dope. I'll pull up the cape, which is not wired, by the way, but I like that. Not everything has to be wired. And I like how it catches and bunches here 
underneath the shoulder armor. Wow, look at that. This harness around his torso is super involved and detailed. The sword is in the sheath right now. I'll take it out. And I'll show you that this part of the sheath is also free floating and kind of like swivels around. The harness itself, I think it comes off, you know, but I don't want to, I don't want to find out because this seems to be like a button or a peg and, I, and it doesn't seem like the hole is big enough to come out over that peg. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want to mess with it. But it does look like it comes off and it has a piece for the sword here and you line it up and you get the sword in there. And as you can see, the plastic is pretty soft because it just takes the curvature of his back. Really nice, more great detail and paint here. Same to match there and his trousers. I mean, here, I guess he's wearing socks inside of his boots. And I mean, that's great because you got to sweat a lot in boots like this. <laughs> really nice, man. This dude is absolutely dope. Absolutely dope, man. Wow, man. Masterverse is rocking. Motu, I say it all the time. Motu is back. Woo! And the people behind the line right now, or the people together working on the line right now, are absolutely fired up and inspired. And I'm loving every moment of it. I'm glad I got back into it. Wow, beautiful stuff. Let's take a quick look at the power sword itself. Very, very long, oversized, and it looks exactly like the movie. I mean, I want to say exactly like the movie. I think the gold here around the hilt was more brilliant and had more luster in the movie, but I'm not complaining. This thing looks great. And in his left hand, he has the vertical hinge so that you can articulate his arm up or down for those sword poses. And you see that the pauldrons here do not hinder him rotating his arm upward. Let's see how he looks with that hair piece, that thick hair piece in the back. Can't get too far up there with his eye gaze because of the hair. But you know what, I'll live with it. I think he looks absolutely great. Let's take a quick look at the other portrait. And that definitely is intended to be that 80s likeness of He-Man. I see it in there. It's a more mature, drawn out look. I feel like in the lower portion of the face, the chin piece, uh, maybe not also as wide as the traditional He-Man that we're used to. Give us a quick side by side there. This is an Origins, Motu Origins head portrait. And then it comes with two additional hands. So we've got one punching hand for the right, the one that he bam punches <laughs> in the intro. And then we also have the sword holding hand or weapon blaster holding hand for the left. And really quickly, before we do our comparison for today, our most powerful comparison in the universe, we'll get the obligatory Conan pose out of our new He-Man here. Very, very dope. Very, very dope. All right, let's do it. For today's themed comparison, we're going to keep it super powerful. We're going to make it the most powerful comparison in the universe. And we're going to bring out all of the He-Men from the Masterverse line so far. So we'll start out with the CGI He-Man. And I'm digging that fig. I think that's an underrated fig. And we'll bring out our Savage He-Man. Masterverse. Battle armor, He-Man. And we'll bring out the traditional release of He-Man based on the Netflix cartoon. And we'll bring in the new attorney of Viking He-Man with the vintage Motu Origins head swapped in. And last but not least, before we wrap up today, we will bring in the 40th anniversary He-Man. And as you can see, we're kind of like overloaded with He-Man here. I think we lost Savage He-Man around there somewhere, but you know he's there in spirit. Very, very dope. Very, very dope. Shout out to the wizards and minds that are inspired right now with the Motu Origins, Motu Masterverse, and everything Motu right now. I think you guys are rocking. Woo! And 
this is another outstanding fig outstanding heck yeah this was a lot of fun as always everybody thank you for coming out to share the experience of collecting toys as an adult and i hope you're able to keep coming back and share some experiences too until next time remember you have the power